My name is Alex Punoz. I am a professor of physics at Boise State University. I also actively participate in the new interdisciplinary PhD programs in material science and engineering and in biomolecular sciences. My research focuses on nanotechnology and we have applied it in several areas including novel sensors and biomedical applications resulting in half a dozen awarded and pending patent applications. One of these novel applications of nanotechnology is in cancer treatment. This is a project that I undertake in active collaboration with Boise State Biology Professor Denise Winget. Nanomaterials are designed and developed in my lab and their use in cancer treatment is tested in Dr. Winget's lab. This research is supported by the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States. The most common methods of cancer treatment are surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation therapy. Chemotherapy refers to the use of chemicals and drugs to treat cancer. These chemo drugs are very strong. They can cause significant collateral damage to normal healthy cells in the process of killing cancer cells and numerous adverse side effects. One of the greatest challenges of current cancer chemotherapy is to develop new classes of anti-cancer agents or drugs that can selectively target and kill cancer cells. There has been great progress by employing nanoparticles and nanotechnology, and our effort is also in this direction. Nanoparticles can deliver attached drug molecules to specific sites inside the human body. They can act as drug delivery systems, in a sense providing non-invasive access to the interior of living cells. In 2007, we showed for the first time that chemically engineered 8 nanometer sized zinc oxide nanoparticles can selectively kill cancer cells without harming their normal counterparts. This was published in 2008 in the leading science journal Nanotechnology and several research groups all over the world have repeated our work and confirmed our novel finding. Cancer cells such as Jarkat T-cell leukemic and HUT78 T-cell lymphoma were completely killed at zinc oxide nanoparticle concentrations of greater than 0.7 millimolar. Interestingly, no measurable effect was observed in resting primary human immune cells even up to about 5 millimolar ranges. Our zinc oxide nanoparticles were about 35-fold more efficient in killing the cancer cells that were tested compared to killing the normal healthy cells. This cancer cell selectivity is much higher than for commonly used chemotherapy drugs such as doxorubicin and carboplatin. Our discovery is unique and novel in treating cancer because it offers very high cancer cell selectivity, thus reducing side effects on normal cells significantly. It is important to note that most nanoparticles or nano devices used for cancer treatment usually function only as a platform to deliver anti-cancer agents or drugs. None of the existing cancer nanotechnology approaches use the inherent and selective toxicity of any nanoparticle system for cancer cell killing, like our novel discovery offers. Also, none of the nanomaterial systems reported until now have shown anything comparable to the 28 to 35 fold preferential cancer killing ability demonstrated by zinc oxide nanoparticles. My name is Alex Penus. Thank you for your interest in our research. If you need further information, please contact Mary Givens Andrews.